affects TAFE's students, uh, parents, and friends. I'm uh, Dr. Song Gang, uh, Associate Dean of the Arts Faculty. Uh, welcome to our uh, Info Day uh, Virtual Fair event. Uh, in this uh, half an hour web webinar, uh, we will let you have some uh, fresh and uh, concrete understanding of our BA curriculum. Uh, in our recent exchanges with uh, some teachers and students from secondary schools, we found the students seem to be more interested in knowing which programs may be the right choice, what the major or minor studies uh, look like, as well as the future career path. So uh, this is not only important for those of you who plan to enter the BA program, but also uh, useful for those who you know, end up in another faculty, yet still are interested in our subjects and want to take an arts uh, major or minor. So today, uh, we will specifically focus on how to choose the majors and minors that best suits your interests and uh, needs in your four-year studies at Hong Kong U. I will start with a general introduction, and then we will have uh, three senior arts students, uh, Ken, Anne, and Andrea, uh, who uh, will share their personal experiences of uh, you know, choosing arts major and minor, minors. Um, since uh, all uh, uh, three of them, I mean, just uh, senior students, uh, you know, basically I think they can you know, share very rich information with you. And um, um, for the final uh, few minutes, uh, I will just uh, summarize uh, briefly the key points and then offer you some uh, advice, uh, for the advice. So, um, and also um, if um, actually, uh, you know, if you have any questions during the sharing, uh, you can just uh, put your questions in the uh, uh, chat box and uh, our uh, faculty colleagues uh, will uh, just answer your questions instantly, okay? So I will just uh, very quickly start with the uh, introduction. Uh, let me share the screen. Okay, um, so you can see this is a, um, kind of a matrix of all these major minors. The first, the, you know, this uh, first slide, I mean, so many of them, the uh, majors and the minors. And uh, I mean, the first one uh, slide, I mean, it shows you a, uh, basically a map, uh, um, you know, of your footsteps at the BA curriculum. You know, you can see year one, year two, year three, year four, and in year one, basically, you explore as many as possible your interested, uh, you know, subjects, you know, courses. Uh, but bear in mind that you uh, uh, later on, if you uh, declare a major, you want to fulfill the major, uh, you need to, you know, uh, just uh, take uh, at least uh, 18 credits in the introductory level courses. That's year one. And year two, at the beginning, you need to declare at least one arts major. And uh, that's the only request we ask for you, okay? Um, uh, beginning of the, uh, year two. And the first two, uh, three years, uh, basically you uh, fulfill the university compulsory courses, common core, Chinese, uh, English, uh, uh, language enhancement courses. And also for year three and four, uh, year three, you know, there are some, uh, many actually, uh, exchange opportunities. You can go abroad or go to, you know, uh, Taiwan, uh, uh, mainland China, other Asian countries, and uh, North America, Europe, etc. I think uh, after this uh, pandemic uh, gets, control, uh, gets controlled, I mean, uh, there, uh, there will be uh, many, you know, opportunities for these uh, exchanges. And then fourth year, the capstone experience, uh, basically you develop your own uh, research project and to be independent in doing your own research. And for the four years, you complete just one arts major with uh, 72 or 78 uh, credits, and uh, that's fine. And if you use, you, you want, uh, you are interested in, you know, declaring a second major or, uh, you know, 
another minor or minors, uh, you know, you, you, you can feel free to do that. I mean, the, for minor, just uh, uh, for one minor, it's uh, 36 uh, credits. Okay, so that's basically the, you know, footsteps uh, towards your graduation, okay? And uh, here we have these, um, you know, uh, uh, really kind of, uh, as I said, a matrix of all these uh, majors, minors. You can see uh, 23 majors and uh, 31 minors. Uh, here they are divided by the, uh, grouped by schools. You can see uh, three in school Chinese, uh, two in uh, school English, and uh, uh, seven from school humanities. And for school modern languages and cultures, you can see uh, 11 majors and 18 minors. And lastly, there's uh, one uh, Buddhist study minor in Center of Buddhist Studies. So indeed, I mean, it's a, really a matrix and uh, too many options. And uh, often, I would say, uh, the first year students who would have this kind of question, or this kind of puzzle, you know, really puzzled. You know, too many of them, you know, how can I choose these, uh, among these uh, uh, major minors? And uh, it seems also very difficult to develop a sense of belonging to a major till my year two, right? You have, you, you, you have to declare a major, you know, at the beginning of year two, but before that, year one, I mean, it seems uh, not a clear sense of belonging, right? And what if I realize that I, I want to quit one major, I want to change to another major you know, in year three or even later? I mean, that's really also uh, another issue a very key concern, and we, uh, it did happen before. So this sense of belonging may be a puzzle for you know, many students. You know, we really understand that this kind of uh, situation, the concern of students. You know, um, but uh, uh, I would stress here, uh, there's an answer from your teachers. <laughs> um, so please, please bear in mind the fundamental rationale of our liberal arts education. So we want uh, you know that you will learn to build, but not to be given a sense of belonging. We do not want to ask you to do this, to do that, okay? And uh, we do not just uh, simply set some unnecessary limitations and put you on a rather fixed major or minor pathways through your four-year studies. I mean, it's not fixed at all. I mean, you are on your own hands, okay? Free your mind explore your, the matrix and discover your potential, okay? So that's the general uh, introduction and also uh, bear in mind this kind of uh, rationale. That's really embedded in uh, our liberal arts uh, education. That's the spirit of our, our arts uh, education. And I believe, I mean, the following, the following sharing, you know, the three uh, senior students, uh, uh, Ken, uh, Ann, and Andrea, they will share uh, with you their personal experiences. I mean, uh, in, especially in terms of major minor options. And uh, they will demonstrate, you know, <laughs> the spirit of arts education, okay? All right, so maybe I'll just uh, give the floor to the three uh, students, uh, Ken, Ann, and uh, Andrea, okay? Feel free to speak up. All right. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. And I'm Ken, and I'm year four student in Faculty of Arts. And my majors, I have two majors. One is Chinese language and literature, and one is Chinese history. And I also take a minor in history. And uh, why I choose HKUBA uh, at the uh, very beginning is because uh, I have taken Chinese history as my uh, DSC elective. And I, both Chinese history and Chinese language are my interests, and I wish I can study both of them in my uh, university life. But uh, I've searched some uh, university information, but I only find that only Hong Kong you can provide me with uh, like uh, two du uh, double majors for me to uh, pursue uh, pursue in the university life. So I think it's uh, very attractive. And also uh, because I, I wish to be a teacher and I want to equip more uh, like knowledge of different subjects. And I think Hong Kong U can provide me with this chance. And so I, I've taken uh, Hong Kong UBA as my first choice uh, when I was uh, 
a secondary six student. And how about Anne or Andrea? Why do you choose HKUBA at the very beginning? Okay, hi, um, my name is Wang Yiyin, or you can call me Anne. I am a year three BA student majoring in translation and English studies with, uh, with French as my minor. So uh, when I was in secondary school, I listened to a talk given by HKU students on the programs offered by HKU. And I learned that the uh, curriculum of the Faculty of Arts is very flexible. Um, the first year students of Faculty of Arts can explore their fields of interest and they only uh, they can have different choices. So it really appeals to me because back then I was still very confused um, about what fields of study I'm interested in and if I am capable of studying them. So I feel like the chance to explore more is um, very important and essential for me. That's why I choose BA. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Andrea. Uh, I'm Zhou Tianjiao and you can call me Andrea. Uh, I'm currently a year three student uh, in Faculty of Arts and I have two majors. Uh, one of them is European Studies and the other is Economics and I also have a minor in French. Um, uh, as you can see from my name, I'm a mainland Chinese student, uh, a mainland Chinese art student. And uh, actually, when I was in high school, I didn't think a lot about my choice in HKU BA. Actually, um, uh, the BA curriculum really surprised me when I uh, came to HKU because I could tr uh, choose from a lot of disciplines as Dr. Song has just uh, uh, introduced and yeah uh, so i decided to pursue a major uh, in arts faculty the european studies and also a major out of arts faculty in faculty of business and economics um yeah that's pretty much the story of my ba and major minor choices mm -hmm. i think three of us also have the same features that uh, three of us also have double majors and also one minor and i think this uh, like this this study law is very common in Hong Kong youth BA students and because I think that uh, the, the declaration of majors and minor are very like uh, easy to us to like have double minor, double major and minor and but I also see that both of you uh, also take French as your minors and uh, do you think that is there any specific requirement for like for us to take French or any other any others a language uh, majors as, as our majors or minor and uh, I think for me like Chinese language and Chinese history although they are very pop they are also very popular majors but I think uh, uh, there are no quotas for us to choose like uh, there are no quotas for us uh, uh, maybe a uh, limitation that's how many students for uh, should take uh, this major or uh, the other major I think uh, this is very like a very good uh, arrangement and so yeah, do you think that there is any requirement for your majors and minors? Um, talking about requirement uh, for translation specifically, if you want to major in translation you need to have uh, attain level five or above in both Chinese and English to, de to declare a major in translation in HKDSD. So um, that's something particular about uh, a major in translation. Yes. And about French, I don't think we have to have any prior knowledge about this language before you study uh, French. I think for French, uh, 1001 is a course designed for complete beginners for French learners. So you don't need to worry if you don't know um, much things about the language before you enter university and of course I think um, the courses are very friendly the professors are very helpful so uh, you can expect a very fruitful exper learning experiences when you study French as your mind uh, as your minor yeah um, actually adding to Anne's discussion um, I would like to uh, add a point uh, is that uh, 
uh, any major or minor uh, requires careful academic planning. For example, uh, the French minor, if you want to take a French minor, uh, it is highly advised that you uh, take French 101 at the first semester of your uh, university life so that uh, because the language course are sequential, you have to take one and then the other. And this also applies to uh, my second major in economics because um, you have to take mathematics first and then statistics and then many other courses and etc. So um, actually careful uh, uh, academic planning is paramount in deciding your uh, major and minor. Yeah. Yes, let, let me cut in very quickly uh, to ask uh, these two ladies <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. about uh, the French uh, minor. I mean it seems uh, indeed, uh, you know, we have these uh, friendly professors, uh, you know, teaching uh, French, uh, you know, at the very beginning for complete beginners. How about someone who, ha who has learned uh, French, you know, just uh, can he or she directly jump to, you know, kind of uh, an uh, media, intermediate level or advanced level course? You see what well, I mean? I just, uh, you know, do you need uh, to start from the very beginning, you know, the one you said, uh, French 101, right? Mm -hmm. Is that? Yeah, of course. Uh, there is also always a choice because uh, if you have taken French either in DSU or in any other institutions, it's all right. You can talk to um, the language teacher uh, and take a placement test uh, so that you can join either French 201, which is uh, to be taken in second year, or 301. And then you can join uh, the any courses that corresponds to your language level. And actually this is very nice because it can save the credits for the lower level French courses. Uh, so, and you can take more culture uh, electives about French culture and society. Um, so that just to uh, broaden the horizon. Actually, this um, doesn't only apply to French, it also applies to all the other languages that is offered by arts faculty. Great. Très bien. Yeah. <laughs> Très bien. Thank you. Bien. Okay. Yeah. Um, I see. Uh, any, yeah. I mean, uh, I also, um, uh, let me see. I mean, uh, how about uh, maybe I can just uh, jump in to ask another question about, uh, you know, the maybe some maximum number of major, minor, possible major, minor combinations. What, what do you think? You know, uh, it seems that you, all three of you actually, you have, uh, you know, double majors and uh, one minor. Do you think this is, a, you know, I think I can mention that this is um, kind of normal, right, <laughs> to, to arts students. But uh, what if, you know, one student to say, I, you know, I just want to fulfill one major, okay? Or on the opposite, whatever, another student say, I will take two majors and maybe two minors because we have a total of 240 credits, right? Mm -hmm. So as far as I'm ambitious enough, you know, I can, I, can I do that? Okay, what, was, what could be your answers, your experience? Sure, yeah. Actually, I think in, in principle, both of the situation are visible that uh, they can choose one major or they can choose two majors and two minors. But in fact, I think the students should also consider that or whether uh, their situation can like fit the expectation of the employers and also their, their study low. Because if like if you take double majors and double minors, then you, you will have to like work at, like take six courses each semester and mm -hmm. which may be very, which may cause a great burden to yourself and like you will always be very busy. But also if you only take one major, then uh, I think because most of our art students also take like double majors because they think that or oh, they have more advantages in finding jobs or like finding some relevant jobs to them in the like in the future. So I think that uh, you should also like uh, be, because BA curriculum provides us many chances to us to explore uh, many other fields and other like there are many other subjects. So I think uh, year one students, if they are really like they just have one interest, but I think they can also explore the interest more uh, through the like through these four years and also like uh, take more other uh, uh, subjects if they. I uh, didn't know uh, they, if they didn't uh, if they don't know uh, what subject they are intended to take uh, when they are year one. So I think 
yes, they can fully utilize the chance. Yes, okay. I agree. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, Anne, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I agree. And also, I think um, studying another major sometimes can help our first major. Like mm -hmm. I major in translation, but I also want to make uh, to have a second major either in Chinese or in English to help mm -hmm. with uh, my translation major. So in my first year, I also took introductory courses uh, in Chinese and English and to experience the uh, teaching methods of both languages and then to declare one of them as my uh, second major and I think it really help, uh, helps me also to improve my language skills mm -hmm. so I think it's important to um, explore yeah. more like Ken just said. Yeah I think I, I totally understand your concern because uh, I mean in Hong Kong really this is an English speaking you know environment and uh, I think uh, you, if you really uh, can enhance uh, your capability, you know, ability or skills, you know, in English speaking, writing, and uh, that's really uh, helpful, you know. And also, you take some courses from translation and some Chinese uh, school uh, courses from Chinese school, uh, school Chinese. I mean, I, I think really kind of uh, English Chinese Chinese English. Uh, I think that's really a nice uh, combination of the majors. Yeah. Okay. Very nice choice. <laughs> yeah. How about uh, French? I mean, <laughs> why you choose a, a French as a minor? That's a really a, a just a pure interest, uh, you know, kind of a hobby. Or <laughs> you you still think it's useful for your major uh, choices? I think it's mostly my interest because okay. I have always wanted to learn another language after I enter university. And of course, there are a lot of choices offered by HKU. And mm -hmm. uh, one of my friends choose, uh, chose French, and I wanted to study with her. So that's why I chose French, basically. Well, companion, right? <laughs> to study yeah. together. Yeah, not with uh, Andrea, right? Andrea, Andrea. Well, also my intention. Go ahead. My intention is a little bit different from Anne because I planned uh, for 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 the first thing I major in European studies, which means that I have, I have to choose a European language. But yeah. among them, uh, French is the most attractive to me because I would mm -hmm. love to live in uh, France or Quebec in the future. So that's mm -hmm. also a way to plan your future through mm -hmm. uh, learning some uh, some other languages so that you could fit in the in the society better or quicker. Mm -hmm perhaps yeah. that's yeah. also a bonus yes uh -huh. so i think i think it was very interesting in your case you major in european studies right mm -hmm. but this is a uh, how can i say subject based program i mean it's kind of just uh, many countries in europe right so you yeah. can feel free to choose the language languages that you are interested in actually there is uh, german right uh, yeah. in addition to french uh, german you know spanish uh, italian right uh, so uh, theoretically, you can choose another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's uh, French. Yeah. yeah. But how about, think... yeah, in your case, I mean, this is very interesting. How about uh, the economics? I mean, this uh -huh. is major. I mean, yeah, this, is, uh, uh, this is not, uh, you know, uh, unusual in, in our faculty that our art students also take uh, another, uh, take a ma uh, major in another faculty. You know, uh, uh, business and econo uh, economics uh, faculty is one of them, and another one could be social sciences. I mean, we, we also have a BA, uh, BA in, in uh, with uh, you know education uh, faculty. So it's it's kind of very inter -fac inter faculty kind of this kind of a connection. So what's your concern? I mean, it could be very practical, right, for your future yeah. career. Okay, yeah. maybe you can explain a bit more. Yeah, actually, my case could be interesting to understand because, uh, first of all, I would like to ad advertise a little bit for European Studies major because it is a very interdisciplinary major. It not only includes the uh, every country's culture, it, it also talks mm -hmm. about European Union, religion, history, politics, and etc. But mm -hmm. um, the reason why I choose uh, economics as a major, um, for starters, it's because I believe that uh, economics would be um, 
a boost of knowledge to my first major because uh, because of the euro crisis and many economic hardship that the European Union is going through, it would be um, uh, an an interesting bonus to study. But also, I would uh, I would choose economics as my major because um, I would like to explore more possibilities that arts faculty offers me because um, mm -hmm. arts faculty has very flexible um, curriculum arrangement. Mm -hmm. um, you only have to take one uh, arts major. So um, mm -hmm. actually um, there are a lot of possibilities and many of my friends also take politics and public administration from exactly, social sciences, yes. mm -hmm. social work and uh, marketing. Journalism maybe? Yeah, yeah journalism. Yeah, journalism. it's very yes. popular as well. Yeah, actually, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's, um, that's one of the best things about faculty of arts is that we can choose as uh, as what we want yeah exactly thank you i mean i, I think uh, you know in, in your choice uh, that's a perfect example that uh, you know uh, on the one hand uh, you just uh, acquire uh, this kind of um, intellectual foundation right from arts you know to train yourself uh, you know critical thinking skills right and also communication skills, articulation. But meanwhile, on, I mean, on the other hand, so you uh, really acquire some specialized, you know, knowledge from <laughs> from another, you know, kind of business and uh, economics, right? I saw that uh, this kind of nice combination will really boost up your uh, future career potential. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Great. I and mean, meanwhile, I would say, you know, uh, it, it, you can combine your you know, arts major with major from another faculty. But meanwhile, I mean, if like Ken and, uh, you know, and, uh, Ken and Anne, I mean, they focus on, mainly focus on the arts major and minors, but still, I mean, there could be very kind of, uh, how can I say, promising, you know, uh, career paths, right? Ken and uh, Anne, <laughs> what uh, you, what do you you know plan to do in the future? Maybe very briefly, very quickly. The can and in. <laughs> oh, uh, because like I I said, I I would like to be mm -hmm. a teacher, a, a yeah. teacher that's like teaching Chinese language Chinese. and also Chinese history. Yeah. And I, as so I think I a BA will equip me with more knowledge of different subjects. So I think. This is an attractive point, and I also think that uh, BA uh, there are like varieties of choices. Uh, I mean, the there are different topics of courses uh, among my among my majors. For example, mm -hmm. uh, in Chinese language, there are many like uh, 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 modern literature and also mm -hmm. the classic literature, and like. Uh, about some literature about like as a gender and like in Chinese history there are also many other causes and also I think flexibility also can also be described as our as my major because uh, my my major uh, although it has a uh, like prerequisite but also, but uh, it will like provide some freedom for us to choose for example like provide a, a different uh, choices and then different courses and then you, when, when I like take two or three of the choices then I can like as a prerequisite then I can declare my major and minor uh, mm -hmm. like uh, in Chinese language and Chinese mm -hmm. history so I think uh, it's, it's quite flexible because like uh, be, before I chose Hong Kong UBA I, I, I know I, I'm interested in Chinese, not Chinese language but I'm. I have. I'm more interested in classic literature, but less yeah. interested in modern literature. Then, but I see many other universities. Their information show that oh, I they require me to like take a certain credits for like for the mm -hmm. modern literature. Then uh, I think uh, in Hong Kong, you it provides me more freedom because like if i my interest is in like classic literature, uh, then I can choose more. Courses uh, um, uh, of uh, 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 classic in literature, so I think that uh, it will not have a has a have a very fixed curriculum. Uh, it allows us to like uh, ch choose many other courses uh, with different topics. So I think this is also the uh, the attractive point that I, I choose Hong Kong UBA. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. I mean, I, I think the way you talk, the way you talk is really look like you're already a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> already. I mean, with some, certainly, I think uh, in your, you are in the final year and uh, with some, maybe you are looking for some internship, right? Uh, to, 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 you know, have some intern work, uh, you know, uh, experience that's a work uh, beforehand uh, about uh, work in, in a local school, maybe. <laughs> And, uh, you know, do some, you know, training and then indeed, okay, you will become <laughs> what do you, you know, want to do, right? Okay. Yes, okay. And I think right. uh, if we like, uh, I know that many of you may mm -hmm. like have some plans in university. For example, I want you to take uh, the responsibility, responsibilities in the societies or like uh, doing exchange in year three, etc. Yeah. I think uh, it's better for us to like uh, mm -hmm. plan the, the study load beforehand, like before we, uh, we start our university right. life, for right. example. Right. Or if, uh, because I also went to exchange in year three, and then if I know that oh, I am going to exchange, then I may take more courses or like I will arrange some courses to like study them first. And then so to arrange the, the course selection uh, better and then and like fulfill the credits before I graduate. So I think it's also very important for us to think like what you want to do in your university life before you enter your uh, in university. So I think, yes, this is yeah. quite important and like important. Uh, yes. careful academic planning is very important. Okay, great. Thank you, Ken. I mean, uh, maybe finally, uh, Anne, <laughs> you major in translation, I mean, also English studies. I mean, I think this is a very uh, promising, you know, in terms of a career pathway. I mean, uh, what do you plan to do, you know, after graduation? <laughs> I think I will do something related to translation or even interpreting in the future, because um, I think the translation courses I have taken in HKU, mm -hmm. the professors are really experienced in the field of translation and they taught mm -hmm. us a lot of useful skills that I really want to apply um, in the future, and uh, especially for interpretation, uh, our, uh, one of the professors worked in the government and he shared a lot with us uh, the practical skills, yeah. uh, how to manage uh, mm -hmm. anxiety when you do interpretation, etc. And I think it really equips ourselves with enough knowledge and experiences, and I, that's why I want to uh, do similar things in the future. Exactly, all right, thank you. Uh, I, I see you... a question that's yeah. regarding the, like the quota of the courses, that's all the diff yeah. diff difficulties of choosing the, like choosing the course. And I think this, this is the uh, problem that uh, mm -hmm. three of us or some uh, Hong Kong students may also face it because like the extra period uh, is very competitive to, for us to like choose the courses. But I think that uh, uh, I think most of the courses they will have the other courses that they are the same nature or the same level. For example, uh, if your major is uh, uh, like uh, advanced courses, they may also have other advanced courses. Then you may like uh, choose the other to replace it immediately. Or if you really need that course to like, you really need to enroll it in this semester. Then some of the cases allow us to like. Uh, write an email to the professors like to ask for uh, whether he can really uh, add you in because some of them will also consider your situation for example mm -hmm. i only like like one course for us to for me to graduate but uh, i can't enroll in it so how can i do but for my if i'm if i in in this situation i will like uh, write an email to the mm -hmm. professor and also like seek the advice from the us authors like uh, see how can they they can help us so mm -hmm. i think uh, this may be like the ways that for us to cope with this situation and also for uh, like we will have the extra period so you should uh, sit in front of the computer and then like uh, take time to 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 write in it and i think yes yeah yes. okay thank you ken i mean that's a, a very practical uh, advice. And uh, as a professor, I approve, approve <laughs> your request. I mean, this indeed, I mean, many students, they have this uh, kind of question. Oh, I cannot get into one course, you know, 
So every semester we encounter this kind of problem. We will try our best, our colleagues and I, try our best to you know fit you uh, into the you know uh, the the courses that you want. You know. So basically, I think you just uh, reach out. You know, that's also an important thing to 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 keep the close communication with the uh, you know both the program coordinators, you know the and also uh, the colleagues from our faculty office. You know, whenever you have uh, a kind of question or problem in your studies, yeah, okay. Um, so uh, so uh, I I see uh, there's a. <laughs> Reminder, uh, time is uh, up. Uh, I think uh, for the last uh, two minutes or so, uh, uh, I will just uh, uh, summarize uh, the, the key points. And uh, meanwhile, actually, uh, for the audience, if you have further questions, uh, you can still type in, you know, put in, in the chat box, uh, either in English or Chinese, okay, very quickly. But uh, uh, I will do my last part, uh, you know, Thanks to the, the three students. I mean, really, they share very uh, interesting and rich information about their experiences. But let me uh, share the screen and uh, finish the you know this uh, uh, webinar session of these, uh, the last two slides. So from their examples, you can see that uh, indeed, you know, uh, when you know before you make uh, your choices, uh, maybe you need to know our rationale of a liberal arts education, right? Uh, but when you make your choices, you should know clearly your objectives, okay? So uh, basically you find you, you just explore your interests and know your potential. Indeed, I mean, I'm telling you that your potential, but the thing is uh, maybe even after one semester, you know, you still probably didn't get you know, very clear idea about your potential. So you, you really need to uh, further explore and, uh, you know, try uh, different uh, choices and uh, find, uh, find, try to find which, you know, uh, combination or which option could best uh, suit uh, your uh, need and your interest, okay? And also consider your career prospect. Uh, we, I just asked the uh, three students, you know, I think since uh, they have, already a very clear, you know, plan for their future uh, careers, right? So with these uh, points, uh, you know, uh, in your mind, and then you can develop a very, uh, you know, a clear tailor-made, you know, major minor plan. And uh, really, you're ready for the uh, BA studies, okay? And also, uh, just uh, another objective, you know, try your best to learn to be independent. As I said, you know, we don't tell you what to do. You know, we don't uh, kind of almost like a force, you know, gives you, you know, probably something maybe not best for you, okay? So you need to think uh, independently and uh, try to find out independently what is best for you, okay? Make your own decision. But meanwhile, okay, don't forget, we are always by your side, okay? Be collaborative, you know, be communicative, you know, reach out, you know, get our advice and help, okay? So these uh, objectives, uh, I hope that you can bear in mind. And lastly, I mean, a few uh, essential tips. You know, this is the first one, the pathway to go alone. Again, I mean, with these examples, you know, the experience sharing, you, you will know that, uh, you know, uh, first of all, explore your interests, okay? This is the only, uh, you know, very, very good opportunity for you to just a few free to uh, test your, uh, you know, capability, find your potential, and uh, explore as many as your interest uh, subjects. Okay, but meanwhile, okay, think uh, carefully. Among these choices, maybe a few of them are uh, your you are really interested in, but you still need to, uh, you know, prioritize your first choice and second choice, and then choose. You know, uh, in addition to the arts major, and then you just, uh, you know, uh, maybe choose another major uh, or other, you know, minor minors. And then you have already this focus, right? Just focus on that, especially after the year two. And then, you know, develop your uh, skills and uh, build up your knowledge. And then you will be expert, right? Expertise, uh, you know, ready. Uh, 
you know, uh, for the future you know, career, right? So um, after graduation. And then uh, the uh, two balances to keep in mind, and uh, already I think the examples already show you that, you know, on the one hand, uh, you know, uh, you need to be, uh, you know, realistic. You know, some students will say, I, I want this, I want that, you know, but it's too ambitious, maybe too idealistic. Okay, just to try to strike a balance between ideal and reality. And then uh, another balance between self and others. Okay, on the one hand, you need to be independent, right? Make your own choice, right? But meanwhile, listen to others, okay? Uh, choose the, you know, useful uh, tips uh, for you, okay? So two balances. And lastly, uh, the, um, you know, the, uh, Three scenarios uh, to avoid. Already, actually, we already mentioned, <laughs> you know, some experience uh, uh, and also some examples already. Don't to be too idealistic. You know, it seems that uh, you want to take all the best ones uh, in in maybe one from each school. We have four schools, right? So two majors from uh, you know popular majors from two schools and two popular you know minors maybe <laughs> from from the, uh, the other two schools. I mean, it seems all best ones, I want to take them all. Maybe this is too ambitious. You know, just to think otherwise, you know, realistically, okay? And uh, another one to avoid is that you not to be, uh, you know, simplistic. You know, I just want to take one major and that's it. For others, I have no interest. I think that's uh, probably not the real uh, reality that uh, you, you see it. Actually, uh, there could be some other options as the, you know, uh, these uh, students, they, they already share with you. There could be some other options, some other courses, you know, major minors that uh, are very helpful for this, uh, you know, only one choice that you like, okay? So don't be too symbolistic, okay? And also don't be too re over-reliant. Uh, you, you need to be independent, you know, don't uh, just, uh, uh, in no longer a secondary school student, right? <laughs> uh, parents or others say, uh, you know, of course, their opinions, I think you need to listen, okay? You can uh, take the, uh, the ones that are useful for you, but uh, don't always say, uh, he says, uh, she says, and they say, and, but what do you say, you know, right? What's, what, what's your own opinion? What's your own choice, right? So uh, I guess that's about uh, the, uh, essential tips. Uh, thank you for your um, uh, listening and uh, thanks for the three uh, gorgeous uh, students <laughs> who share that very, uh, you know, kind of a lively, uh, uh, you know, examples, you know, real uh, personal experiences about our studies. And uh, I guess uh, people are still asking questions. Uh, let me, uh, before I stop there, I think if you have further questions, uh, please, yeah. Uh, all our co colleagues uh, have not uh, replied you, you know, in a timely manner, and they tried their best already. But if not, uh, you know, you still have chance to go to the, uh, you know, our, uh, this uh, Faculty of Arts, uh, this uh, booth, and uh, you can, let me see, uh, do I stop share already? Uh oh go into this uh, faculty of arts uh, booth and uh, find uh, on the next page on the right hand, uh, there's a chat. Okay, you click on that, you can put uh, whatever question uh, that you want to ask and our colleagues are there to answer your questions. Okay, all right, I think uh, that's all for this uh, webinar session. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. For your Thank help, you. Uh, you know, and uh, Andrea and uh, Ken. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.